Not only is Apple Notes free and deeply integrated into Apple's ecosystem, it also just got some brand new features like collapsible sections, finally, like text highlighting, not to mention Apple's soon to be released Apple intelligence features. Apple Notes is far more capable than most people realize. And today I'm gonna to give you some genius level tips to take the new features way beyond the default experience while also helping you boost your productivity. By the way, if you wanna dive deeper into productivity and other great topics, check out my courses linked up down below. Take it from Ted, Sean, and Alvin. People love these courses because they're perfect for busy people. And there's just a few days left to pre-order my new course, Pro iPhone Video Essentials, and still get Freeform Unleashed and Learning to Be Productive completely free. Have you ever wanted to take notes when you were on the go, when you weren't tied to the desk? In Apple Notes, you can now hit the paperclip icon and say record audio, which I found to be a useful feature to capture ideas while I'm taking a walk and getting some exercise. What's cool about using this feature is that you can hit this icon in the bottom left to turn on and view the live transcription. So whenever you're out and about and you're just getting out your thoughts, when you get back to your desk, you'll be able to see and search through, importantly, the full transcript of whatever you recorded. It's also nice to know that you can pause and resume those recordings. And if you hit done, you'll see that that gets added to your note, which you can then long press on and share. I like to share that to something like Freeform, which I can then have playing while I make some handwritten notes over on the side. But you should also know that when you're inside of a recording, you can hit those three dots on the top right corner and say, add transcript to note, and then you'll get the actual transcript inside your note. It's easy to rename those recordings. And don't forget, when you're viewing your transcript, you can highlight a portion and hit share for a super quick way to share on social media or into messages. To really get the most out of this technique, I like to go up into those three dots and say, copy transcript, then head over to your favorite LLM, something like ChatGPT or Claude, paste it in, and then use a prompt, which I'll link in the description for you, like, I recorded this transcript while walking. Could you please format it into clear actionable notes with bullet points and key takeaways? And then of course your favorite LLM will go ahead and do exactly that. So you don't have to worry about the formatting just because you're walking doesn't mean that you can't end up with a great looking note that you can paste back into Apple Notes. Have you ever struggled with creating a visual hierarchy that lets you quickly find information in long notes? Well, Apple now lets you use colors to highlight notes to make otherwise boring and uniform text really stand out. But far better than just having a highlighting feature is a highlighting system that you use consistently. So you might wanna screenshot this, but you could use blue for key concepts and main ideas, mint for supporting information, orange for action items, pink for questions, purple for important dates or deadlines. And then as you're using your notes, you'll be able to easily spot pieces of key information. Now, of course, do whatever works best for you, but keep in mind that blue is the easiest to reach and purple is the hardest to reach with your thumb. So just something to keep in mind as you're organizing yourself. You can go crazy with this. You can prioritize your to-do lists, or if you're gonna be collaborating with other people, you can use certain colors to assign roles. Of course, your notes are only ever gonna be as good as your focus. And that's why I would highly recommend not only using focus modes, but downloading brain.fm. You've been hearing me talk about it because I love this service. It's science-backed focus music that helps you get focused in five minutes. Personally, I love the deep work playlist, but the motivation and creativity playlists are my new favorites. I love to fire this up alongside Apple Notes. It's probably my most used productivity tool. You can see in my library the stuff I've been listening to lately and even some of my recent favorites. If you're not sure if this is for you, I highly recommend using the 30-day free trial to check it out. Although caution, once you try it, you may never go back. It's linked up down in the description. Or you can just go to brain.fm slash daily T-E-K-K, daily tech, and check it out there as well. Okay, if you like this wallpaper, I know someone's gonna ask, that's linked up down below as well, the wallpaper store. But let's talk a little bit about the other new feature here, which is collapsible sections. You can see I've made some headers in this note. So now when you hover over a header in Apple Notes, you'll see there's a toggle that appears next to it, and that lets you expand or collapse these header sections. So any header, including subheaders that you set up in your note, automatically becomes collapsible and expandable. The obvious benefit here is that your notes can be less cluttered, but I've noticed that one of the unstated benefits of collapsible sections is the ability to easily reorder very long documents. So for instance, in this sample document here, let's say I wanna move the entire framing and composition section, section three there. Well, all I have to do is collapse it, collapse all the other sections, and cut that, 
and then move it somewhere else and paste it in. And now what that lets me do is more easily alter the structure of this otherwise long and more complex document. Now, if you've ever felt that Apple Notes is a little too simple and you wish that it had some extra oomph under the hood, then you're really gonna love Pro Notes. Pro Notes is a Mac app that lets you extend your Apple Notes to add powerful features. It lets you use Markdown, so you don't have to use bare notes, for instance, anymore. It adds slash commands like Notion for really powerful shortcuts. It has backlinks, which actually Apple added, but you might like this implementation better. And best of all, maybe templates, if you've ever wanted to quickly insert snippets using slash commands, you can do that now. And I wanna point out, there is a free version that gives you all of that stuff I just talked about. There's also a pro version, which bakes in some other interesting features and lets you support the developer as well. Now, taking notes is one thing, but understanding what's in your notes and really learning a subject deeply is something completely different. And I wanna point out Google's Notebook LM, which will let you listen to a conversational discussion about your topic in a way that might make you feel a little bit weird because it's not real, but also it's gonna be very useful. So here's a sample talking about the Meta Quest, just so you can see what it's like. All right, so get this, a Meta Quest 3S. A3S. Yeah, like just when we thought we had VR figured out, right? Yeah. Leaked specs, rumors, <laughs> the whole nine yards. So if you wanna use this, you can export your Apple Notes as a PDF and get it into Google Notebook LM. And this will let you do things like multitask or review your important notes while you're on the go. It'll give you a fresh perspective on your material, if nothing else. And hopefully it'll let you go from just taking notes to being better able to absorb your notes. So that would be an interesting way for you to share your own notes with yourself. But if you wanna share your notes with other people, there's actually a really cool app that can turn your notes into a website, kind of like Notion. So you can turn your Apple Notes into a blog, you can turn it into a portfolio or some kind of a portal. Really cool way to get a fully functional, clean looking, minimalistic website with very little effort. So if you just need a very simple way to share things like project updates or meeting notes or documentation, now you can do it. You don't have to spin up a crazy, complicated, time-sucking website. You can literally just share the notes that you have in a public way in just a few taps. You still have 100% ownership of your data. It really does work just right in Apple Notes. If you want to do some customization, you can do that. If you want to reflect a brand, for instance, and the performance is solid. As you can see, you can take advantage of SEO best practices and keep things loading nice and speedy. You can use a custom domain. You can include a commenting system. There is Markdown and it all works by basically just sharing a specific Apple Notes folder. So you don't have to worry about accidentally leaking anything outside of that. You know, if you're not ready for the tips to end, I made a great roundup of some excellent Apple Notes tips before. I'm gonna link that up for you down below or I'll try to put a link to it right here so you can get into that as well. Don't forget to check out the courses. Like I said, you have a limited amount of time to get that three for one deal because the new course launches on the first so I don't want you to miss out. That's linked up down below. Check out the wallpaper packs and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.